You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. So baby, how you doing? You good? I'm not fine. Why? Baby, why did you stop taking my calls? Hey, come on. That wasn't intentional. As a matter of fact, my day has been very, very, very busy. Like, filled up with a lot of things. I had a lot of files to treat on my desk in the office and uh, I was so tired, okay? Come on, baby. You shouldn't work for in that, all right? I was only scared. I thought you forgot about me and everything that has to do with me. Oh, come on. Honey, listen. Even if I forget the word, I will never forget my baby. Okay? Alright. I promise you this. I will make up for this this time around. Are you sure? That's a promise, baby. That's a promise. And I love you. Mm -hmm. No, I love it too. Oh, that's so good. I'll be expecting more for last for me. I got it, okay? No problem. So, why don't you go in there and prepare something special for both of us? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You know, I will do everything for you, baby. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you too. Mm, I love you so much. That's the one time, <laughs> two time, three time, four time. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> You're so special to me, baby. I know. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Right back. Alright, so, pretty good. is beginning to become the tongue of my flesh. How you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Come yeah. on, eh. that's my girl. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? What? I was about stepping out when you came in. So, uh, so? I suggest we both go out together. Have fun. Wait, but I just got here. I know. I promise I'll make you comfortable, okay? Shall we? How about I wait for you? Oh, come on, baby. There'll be no need for that. You know why? Because you're going to be lonely. All right? Yeah. Or rather, I'm going to be lonely. I want you by my side. I need you by my side. We have to do a lot together while we're driving. Show you to the world. <laughs> Lay you down. Okay, and let baby. everyone see you. I got a beautiful girl. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Emily has to go. I don't want to get myself involved in any police case. Neither do I want to get myself involved in any problem. So she has to go. Calm down, Empress. Matters like this are meant to be handled carefully. Moreover, where do you want Emily to go to? Anywhere. Let her just leave. Yes. I single-handedly adjure the vote of it to let her stay because of her condition. Now she is perfectly fine. Let her leave. Emily, leave. Go. Stop it. Stop it, okay? She has caused us more harm and pain since she came. And at the end of the day, I was stand as the victim. So let her leave. How is the man doing? Oh, he should be fine. The doctor gave him the attention he needed. His mother was called to go to the hospital. Who is this man like? Which man will summon the courage to come in public 
and beat up a woman? Is he insane or something? Is something wrong with him? He's Dave. My husband. Was that your husband? Yes. If I had known that he is your husband, I would have crippled him. Can you imagine? Why would he lay his hands on you today? He's supposed to be settling this issue amicably and not with violence. He's indeed a shameless man. I don't know what to do anymore. Dave has turned my life upside down. I don't know what more he wants from me. Wait. Can I ask you a question? I, are you owing him? I don't understand. Are you in possession of any of his properties or money and couldn't pay back? No. So what about your parents? My late parents never owed him. As a matter of fact, they, they don't even know him. Oh, oh, so he's been heartless to you because your parents are gone and nobody to speak on your behalf? That's so inhuman of him. Babe, you need to bring out the poorest in you. You need to be strong. You need to have a great opposition to claim your freedom. I mean, you were his wife and not his slave. So woman up and fight for your liberty. Stop crying. I mean, you cannot possibly allow a man that intimidates you go scot-free. No, you can't do that. Yes, and I don't think he will come back. Not with that scar on his head. He's unrepentant. He would definitely come back. Hi, baby. I'm fine, baby. How are you? I'm good. Take it easy on me. It's okay. You see, uh, all you need to do now is to rest so that you regain your strength. I promise you, you'll be fine. Mama, these people dealt with me. Sorry. They were very mean. Sorry. Don't worry, the pain will subside. Oh. No, I do it gently, gently. I will, I will, I will. After now, you go and rest. You <laughs> know, you're resting it hard. I do it gently, gently. <laughs> Sonia, you want to understand. You can't even begin to imagine what I went through in Dave's hand. I mean, his presence gives me adrenaline rush. It's that bad. I understand. But choosing the life of prostitution is not good. What happened to the decency I know you for? 
if all your advice is for me to go back to Dave, then I'm sorry. I will not take it. <sighs> Dave dealt with me. had miscarriages because of because of the beatings he gave to me I even lost a six month old pregnancy because of Dave and you expect me to go back to him that man is a sadist he deprived me of find a relationship than to indulge yourself in sex trade it's no good remember I've been in that game before it didn't help me I'm not going to be in this game for long I just I just want to to enjoy myself a little, to live a little. I want to have a fair share of life's treats. That's all. I know, Emily, you're more like a sister to me. And I will always tell you the truth. There is no gain in prostitution. Emily, I am sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I am very, very sorry. Do not forget in a hurry that you're my best bite. My sunshine. I know I've caused you pain. I know I haven't been the best husband that I ought to have been to you. I know I deserve an undeserved forgiveness from you because of what I have caused you. I am not even worried to be before your sight. Oh, please. Kneeling before you is a man who has repented of his deeds against you. I begrudge every ill treatment I melted on you as my wife. Please, find a place in your heart to come back home. Many seasons has come and gone, but your absence is so strong in my home. Please, I beg of you, forgive me and return back home. Please. I'm begging you. Please, we are so sorry. We are really so sorry. Forgive my son and I. We regret everything that has happened. Biko. And we promise that it will never ever happen again. Never. Across my heart. I promise that everything that I did wrong to you will be fixed. Just come back home. Baby, please, come back home to me. Please, I beg of you. I 
I loved you. All I ever did was respect and give you the honor that you truly deserved. I already forgive you. My mind is clear, my heart is pure. I bear no grudges against you. Thank you. Thank you. I said thank you for forgiving me. Thank Until you. <sighs> but we can never be together again. Well, whatever this is, I swear I will make amends. This forgiveness is found on the altar of repentance. However, remorse is not repentance. Emily. Emily. to eat, drink water, or even take your bath. Dave, you, you, you stink so badly. I know that I stink, Mom. I know that I stink. All I need back is a milli, Mom. All I need is back. I want a milli back to my life. My life is empty without a milli. Mom, please. Can you please help me and beg a milli and tell her that I said I'm sorry for every wrong that I did to her. Across my heart, just tell her that I said I'm sorry. Let her come back and not leave me, please. I beg you, please tell her that I'm sorry. I know I've offended her so many ways, but she should forgive me and come back. Oh. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> if you were to be Emily, would you accept a man like you back into your life? Answer me. Mom, this, this is not time for judgment. I just want you to please help me beg her. Tell her that I said I'm sorry for everything I have done to her. I know she would listen if you talk to her. I doubt. I doubt if she will agree to accept you back into her life. Because of your malicious maltreatment, she has lost three pregnancies, added to her ugly moments. Stop this. Okay. Fine. I, I will try talking to her again. I will go to her tomorrow. But, but you have to man up yourself. Stop behaving like a child. You don't understand my life. My whole life. She's my whole life. She's 
سال I know that Dave will never rest until he speaks to me on the phone. But the truth is that I will never take his call. In fact, let me switch off my phone before he drains my battery. Heartless man. Sonia, are you okay? I should be asking you, what are you doing here at this time of the night? Um, never mind, but you look worried. Is everything all right? <sighs> you mean, it's about my love life. I'm having double mind. I've started noticing some awkward behavior from my man. Sorry, I can't help you. I thought you wanted to talk about something else. Is it, I don't involve myself in anything love, like any love discussion or love, any entanglement. I don't want to get myself involved in it at all. You know my story. You know what I went through in the hands of Dave. You know my ordeal already, so please. Good night. Tell me this is what you've been indulging yourself into. When your mother and I thought you were in school. It's Chief, your father. What? Yes. Hmm? Why? Why have you decided to be a disappointment to your mother and I? When we've been doing all to make sure we don't lack anything. Unfortunately, Dad, I don't feel sorry for anything. What do you expect from me? Those are the fathers sleeps around with different women. You and mom failed me as parents, yes. So please. Swear. Swear to me, Jay, that you've not touched my daughter. No, no, no. Is it like that? We have had sex countless times. I even had to abort my baby just to save your face. Chief, your reactions towards this is not welcoming. You've been enjoying other people's daughters. Definitely, your daughter must be enjoyed by someone else. Of course, Chief. What goes around comes back around. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut it up before I shut that miserable thing up for you. So you have decided in spoiling my own daughter? No, this spoils me, Dad. 
I beg them to be their friend, yes! Please, let me be. Jay, Chief. after all I have done for you, you have the mind to sleep with my daughter. Chief, I never knew she, she is a daughter. I never knew. Must you sleep with every lady you see? Must you? Chief, that makes us even. You sleep with every girl that comes to you. I supply ladies to you. What makes your daughter different? I'm pregnant for you, Chief. Please don't tell me you don't want me. Okay. What's wrong with you? Something about this, I tried to stop her, but you know, Sonia, she wouldn't listen. She's so stubborn. I can't give a fuck, do I care? Damn that shit, okay? Hey, sweetheart, <sighs> come on. Don't give me that look, okay? I mean, if you're worried about what just happened, it means you're worried about my past. She is my ex. And you're the president, okay? That makes you special. Hmm? Babe. Yes. You mean your ex comes into your house unannounced? That's exactly what you just saw. She's so stubborn, so irritating, unlike you. You know? Don't be bothered about that, okay? You should feel special because you are the one in my life right now. I, I, can't, I can't even compromise your, your presence in this house. As a matter of fact, this house, this whole house you're saying, Belongs to you, the first lady, her excellency. <laughs> Life has not been easy with death since you left. He has come to realize the vacancy you occupied in his life. I mean, death, your husband. I don't want to be associated with the name Dave in my life again. He's not my husband. Honestly, I'm in short of words. Emily, I know you are penned. I, I know that you are greatly hurt. I understand the moment. But please, I'm pleading. Have everything. Be good. You know what? You are wicked and selfish. Why exactly should I have a rethink? Huh? No, tell me. You know, you are the reason I'm refusing to go back to Dave. What? You heard me right. I'm saying this to your face. I mean, I'm not afraid to say it to your face. You're the reason Dave maltreated me. No, 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 no. Th that's not true. It's not true. Oh, relax. Relax. There's no alarm for self-defense here. You know, you should be apologetic about yourself, not about your son, Dave. Do you know what you did to me? Do you know... Please. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stand up, please. I don't like this. Just stand up, please. You can me. Truly, I wronged you. You are right. If you condemn me, you are right. I wronged you. But please. There wouldn't have been any forgiveness if there was no sin. Please forgive me and forgive Dave, my son. I acknowledge and I accept my wrongs. 
Because oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Can you sit down? Please, I want you to come back so that we can live as one happy family again. Because, you know, because... Please, get up and sit down, please. I mean, I don't want people to come back and, and see us be like this. Just sit, can you sit, please? Just sit down, please. I forgave you long ago, but I will never accept you people back into my life. Excuse me. I wonder how God created men that they are so emotionless. The best description for selfishness is the male gender. Yes. I've never and I've not done anything wrong to Roland to deserve this. But if he choose to dump me just like that, I promise. I would dump him six feet. He will regret ever dumping me. <laughs> Babe, it's okay. It's okay. He's not worth your tears. It's okay. <laughs> you dress up so we can all hang out, you know, so you can come off this bad mood. It's not good for you. I don't want to go out. What am I going out for? What am I leaving for? Don't talk like that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Please forgive my dear wife. I know I have failed in delivering my responsibilities. I also failed as a husband and a father in my home. Please, Kate, forgive me, please. Please forgive me. Are you okay? Get his pregnant. What have I done to myself? I've succeeded in spoiling my own home. What's this? What is this? You wouldn't dare. I repeat, Empress. You will not try it. Listen, don't take my silence for cowardice. You can't treat me like a slave simply because I am humble and submissive. I am not your slave. I will do it. Again. And again. And you're not going to do anything, will you? You will not believe what I will do to you, you bloody gold digger. How dare you stop it! Do not dare call me names again. I will take everything from you. But not calling me names. Don't try it. 
And what's the meaning of this? What exactly is going on here? Every night is one shout or the other. Can't we have peace in this house? What is the matter? What's happening? As the lunatic doesn't seize every opportunity to snatch the men I want to have fun with away from me. And she did it again today. <sighs> you know, when an anthill magnifies itself to be a mountain, the anthill loses attention. In other words, my darling, this said man was attracted to me first and not you, the anthill. So deal with it, bitch. What exactly is going on here? I don't, I don't get it. Happening babes in town. Ndine tieti, ndine meme. Always on the move. Happening babes in town. Ndine tieti, ndine meme. Always on the move. Happening babes in town. Ndine tieti, ndine meme. Always on the move. This one na jabarata, babu pa baby aku. For beauty them day, for sexy them day. Anyhow you want them, them got them to you. When that guy drove in, I told you my advances on him. And what did you do? You went behind me and snatched him away. <laughs> Is that why you're acting irrational? Can you hear yourself? When the guy drove in, I told you my adv Excuse you? Who do you think you are? Why are you acting all bossy? As if you're bigger and better than all of us. Hello? Hello? Come down from your high horse. Drop your egocentric character. We are all the same. Okay? You're not better than any of us. No. Enough. No, it's not enough. Uh, what exactly? What is exactly is it's going on between you and Empress? Because it's getting too much. Yes, I will explain to you. I will explain to you. This girl right here does not like me. From day one, from the first day I joined this group, she has grew this, this bitterness and hatred towards me. Actually, join this so that I can get a life. I can enjoy. I can be happy for once. But she's making it worse. What have I done to you? You know my pains, but you seize every opportunity to use it against me. She divulges my secret to any man, every man that comes to me. Is that right? You know what? I quit. I am done with this. Sonia, it's all your fault. I blame you for everything. All that we have worked for over the years just crumbled. Everything just went down the drain. All because of some love I don't know about. How did it go? How did it go? You should be seeking for a way forward. What you are doing now is absolutely not necessary. See, I have tried my possible best. 
I tried talking to Emily, using my words carefully. Yes, but she's so vehement in her decision. She refused to give me listening ear. I have this great doubt. If Emily will ever consider coming to this house again as a wife, Well, I've come to realize that you're part of my problems. Imagine what you said after everything you said here. And that means you're part of my problems. After all I have done? Yes, of course, because you're meant to be supporting me as a son. You're supposed to be fighting with me to help me get out of this emotional mess that I've gotten myself into. And not to speak the other way around. You keep being pessimistic. You have never been optimistic in anything you do. Look at it, the one you went for right now. How did it come? It's all pro-abortive. It's obvious. Yes, a sane human can quickly dictate the possible outcome of a particular incident. You surprised me, Dave. Oh, yes. Where is the man in you? Where is that aggressive and that child man in you? You behaved and placed yourself so high that I thought that nothing will ever affect you negatively. Here you are. You have ruined your love life because I don't see Emily coming back to you again. Mom, please, please, please. I am just trying so hard to keep to myself and stop talking to me as if I am suffering from catafrizophrenia. Stop talking to me as if I am having catafrizophrenia, please. I'm already dealing with so much emotional energy and I don't want to start dealing with yours. I beg you. Then you should let her go. That's impossible. No, you have to. Just let her go. Because that is what you have always wanted. You know, I think it's time we stop gallivanting with men of different age. What is that supposed to mean? It's obvious we won't end well. Yes. I realize you're speaking in parables and I can't remember you being Deputy Jesus. Don't forget what happened to Mira. And I am not Mira. Don't even go there. Huh. If you must know, Jay defrauded Chief and he has left town. Chief is now bankrupt. I believe by now he must have gone back to his dilapidated home in the village. Oh. That was really bad for them. That's not all. Jay had a car accident. Jay is dead. Jay is no more. Arela, you're trying so hard to infuse fear into me. But it's not work. Betty, you need to have a careful thought about this whole thing. Okay? Don't say I did not warn you. Don't say I didn't tell you about this whole thing. It's time we stop this prostitution and face our future. It's high time. Don't say I didn't tell you. Happening waves in town. Always on the moon. Happening babes in town, Ndine Tieti, Ndine Meme, always on the move. What a life. Was I born into this world just to have a taste of bitterness? What has life offered me other than pain? Rola should not make a mess of my life. If there is anything I have done is to love him, I have totally reciprocated the love he had for me. Rola shouldn't mess my life. Loving him back is never a crime.
question there. What are you doing here? You're pacing around me and I don't like it. What's all this? What are you doing in my house? Where is Roland? I'm here to see him. And who are you referring that question to? Do I look like his keeper that watches over him? Or does this place look like his house? Stop. You are his friend and you should know where he is. First, Sonia, you came to my house unrecognized. I let you go because I know you lacked home training. Excuse me, are you trying to insult me in any way? Not at all, no insult here. And now you are asking me the whereabouts of a full grown man. Sonia, what do you expect me to tell you? Gibson, um, I have done everything in my power to make this relationship work. And you know, I, I love Roland so, so much. I love him and I know what I've given up just to be with him. Why is he treating me like this? What have I done? Did I do anything wrong? Why is he treating me like this? The other time, I caught him in an uncompromising position, making out with another girl. I left because I felt he was going to come for me. But he never did. Why? Why is Roland treating me like this? Do I deserve this? Why are you hurting yourself thinking that you're being hurt by a man? I don't get it. You know, there's a great watchword in life. That is, move on. It's very obvious to you, but yet he keep pushing further. He stopped texting you, calling you, or even want to see you. That should clearly state to you that he doesn't want to be with you anymore. But no, you wouldn't want to move. Come on, move on, Sonia. Move on. You know, it is elemental for one to be happy as far as life is concerned. Move on, Sonia, and forget about my friend, Roland. I can't. I can't forget about Roland. I love him. Deal with it. What are you saying? Hey, Gibson. Hi, Betty. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. So, what do you want to do? I am here to see Roland. Is he in? Oh, well, um, Roland is not in at the moment, but um, you can go in and wait for him. I believe he will be here shortly. All right, thank you. You have a great day ahead. You too. Have fun. Yeah. What are you saying? Are you saying that you should go in and wait for my own boyfriend? Sonia, the lady you just saw go in there. That's Roland's new choice. When Nanjian brand is in vogue, Japanese don't deal or come closer. Please excuse me. This is so This is so hard The love I thought I've got Has turned to be a threat My world is crumbled This is so painful Yeah, madam, I won't have you come here to call me. Who is your madam? Listen to me. I am here to warn you to stay away from my man. Stay away from Roland and whatever feelings you have for him. Kill it. Did I make myself clear? You are very shameless. Oh, yeah, madam, what? Madam, madam, are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you insane? Is something wrong with you? Just I'm stay down. away from this. Do you hear me? So you have the the F country, no, the temerity to speak to me, right? You've grown wings. You have the temerity to speak to me, Sonia. You didn't ask question, right? You're very crazy. Now listen to me and listen to me very carefully. This is my last warning. Stay away from my man, Roland, and kill whatever feelings you have for him, else you will not like what I will do to you. That is never going to happen. You see? You see what? Hey, don't hey, stop it! Hey, stop! 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 Hey, st